what could I possibly have in store for you guys today? Well, thank you for joining me. I am the goods on YouTube. TG so good everywhere else. So follow me on Twitter. Today, I've got something very special for you. We are going over Louis NBA 2K tool, which is a roster editing tool. The tool itself is called Tools. So, again, NBA 2K tool. All right, so this is for 2K21. And I have a whole playlist for these videos. What I want to show you, this is the tool here. And what I'm going to show you guys today is we're going to we're going to go through and edit a player. Well, I've already edited a player from free agency. And if you're following the playlist, this is a one of the players that I put into free agency and I changed the cyber face in the last video. And I changed the face to Oh wait, this isn't it. I changed it from that Jackson Ellis cyber face. I went from this to here it is to the young Kobe Bryant cyber face all right so that's what I did in the last video now what am I going to do today in this video what I'm going to show you is how to add career stats as you can see it says he played in 2019 2020 this was his team the ringers here's his points per game has all his other stuff. These are his uh, per 36 stats, but here's his regular stats from 2019-2020 season. And then I want to show you even more. All right. It even has, it has the advanced stats, the per 36 stats, and this is all pretty cool. Even though it says his usage rate was zero, that's incredible. But uh, anyway, let's um, let's see. Attributes. Not that. That's not what I want to show you. I want to show you award history. Look at this. In 2020, he won the MVP. He was a champion. All star. All first team. Uh, all NBA first team. Second team defense. And rookie of the year. First rookie. I mean, first team all rookie. So. He won all those awards. Now, how did I do this? As you can see, it says he has zero years pro, 21, and he was undrafted out of Eastern Kentucky. How did I add this? Well, using this tool, let's see. Hold on, I got to get some. There we go. Using this tool, what I did was I came down to players. I clicked edit player. Let me close this so you guys can see. If I click edit player, it pulls up that player as long as you find them so I was in free agency and then I went to the player that I needed which was this one click that player this comes up then if you go here right under vitals this little scroll bar will appear and I scroll all the way to the end where it says stats click stats now what you can do I can set career highs I didn't put any career highs or anything like that so like when I go in here let's see where am I you, when you go to game highs and career highs, stuff like that. This, yeah, that's the career highs. There, There's nothing there. But if I change run on, let's say he scored. We'll put 81. 81 points in a game. You can see in game it changed from 0 to 1. All right. So if we want to say, let's look at three-pointers made, which is right here. We want to say he made... 12. I think Kobe Bryant's record is actually 12. So, 12. All right. So, as you change it in the tool, it changes in game. But this is just for the, the career stats. You can even do season stats. If you're in my league, you would do season stats. If you're just in a regular roster, don't change the season stats at all. All right, and then last but certainly, certainly not least, you can enter in up to 24 years of historical stats, all right? So when you're in, if you're in a regular roster and not inside my league, do not go to current year stats. What I've done is I created historical stats here. At first it said none, 
and then I clicked on create new stats. So let's go back to his stats. Oh man, I clicked off of him. Let's go back to his player card. Huh? Wrong one. All right. Let's go back to his career stats. There they are. So it only has one year of stats, one year, and then his whole career is this one year. I'm going to add another year of stats. So again, here, go down past season highs and just come here to stats and where it says stats two. I'm going to go to create new stats and you can see it has a new stat ID. All I have to do now is just come down here. What team did I want to play for? Uh, let's see. The last one I picked, Ringers. I'll pick Ringers again. So I'll come all the way down. Five. Where's Ringers? Wow. I don't see Ringers. So I'll just pick. Um, I'll pick a different team. 2K Sports. I'll pick 2K Sports. And then I won't pick any previous team because that'll mean you got traded during the season. And then I need to set the year to 18-19. All right. And then I can start to set my stats. So I'll say like he played, say he played 10 games. He started 10 games. Uh, during that time, he scored, let's say, 100 points. Yeah, I don't know how many rebounds he got. He got some rebounds. Got some assists. Got a few steals. Uh, all right, so I'm just going to leave it at this and click create and apply all right so it says I have those stats set there now when I come in game let's see if I scroll away and go back yeah I went away from him and then went back and um, it shows his 1819 stats here but yeah so yeah the further down you go the older the stats are that's how it works yep so you can see he played for Team 2K in 1819, 10 points per game, five rebounds, well, 6.2 rebounds with five offensive, six assists. You see, I just added that before your eyes. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's how you add historic draft information. But if you go all the way down to the bottom is it on this wait oh no 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 let me go back to edit because I didn't put any awards in let me go back to we'll go to edit this time instead of create new we're gonna go to edit and in here see this stuff like accumulates your stat stats or whatever you still have to put your total points by yourself but it'll calculate your three-point percentage and all of that so I just throw in some numbers Uh, this where it says made is field goals made. Man, I'll just say 80. Three pointers made. Let's we'll just give them like six out of 20. Oh, that's not a good. All right, and then you can do whatever else you want. But let's scroll all the way down. And you can add awards down here. So if you want to say he was a championship that uh, he was a champion that year, you can you can add all these. Now up here in the stats, I do need to clarify this double D means um, what is that? Double double, triple D means triple double. All right. So you guys can play around with that stuff, do whatever you want. And if we sc just remember to. Um, Let's see. Just remember, all you have to do once you edit all this stuff, you just click the X 
and everything's all good and then once you're done with the player here you can just click X again and uh, you can just go through and view view your stats see see how good you were your award history look at that you are NBA champion twice and you haven't even been you have zero years pro it's pretty cool but anyway that's how you do that and that's all for this video